up we freaking go. This one's this is a crazy trail, bro. These are some freaking wild trails. Brought to you by Caller Graphics, Trail Tech, and Public Land Riders. Let's go shred some tires. I think we're in for a, a solid good day of riding here, boys. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the channel for another video. And unfortunately, we're going to be starting this off in the worst way possible. Check this out. All right, so with Jasper leading us, as uh, per usual, just like I remember, we went the completely wrong way. Now here's the real start of our problems. Everything good there? No. I see you keep looking down at it. Now what you guys don't know here is we got Luke's 2023 KTM XCW. Put about 120 hours on the thing. So he went ahead and he's put a brand new piston kit in it and it's got about uh, one hour on it. But something isn't right. Sakes, eh? I heard it made some weird sound and that's... Then after about uh, 15 minutes messing around here with his idle, we were able to get the bike started. So I guess everything was all right. So let's continue on. So let's see what happens. And here we are about uh, five minutes further down the trail. Spending about an hour in the woods trying to figure out and fix Luke's bikes. Uh, we just admitted defeat for this one. We literally tested everything we possibly could out in the woods. So now it's a mission to try and push him back to the trucks. All right, as you guys can see, Luke's got a dead bike. Well, as you can see, the boys are doing a bit of toe strapping. Yeah, not, not so awesome. As you guys can see, we were uh, just barely into today's ride. Got maybe 10 minutes into it. If that, got no compression. Already took the bike completely apart, tried a bunch of stuff, checked over a bunch of things. Doesn't seem like it's gonna happen today. Yeah. <laughs> got a little hairy. You guys will see a little bit later on the episode when Luke shoots me a text once he's got home with the photos of the, uh, the damage, the, the big damage. You won't wanna miss out. Make sure you stick around for later on in the video for that. All right, so at least at least we weren't like kilometers and kilometers and kilometers into the bush. You know, it sucks that you didn't get to ride because we drove all the way out here. But uh, yeah, it could have been way, way, way worse. All right, well, we got Luke out. He's back at the truck. I totally blew this corner. Oh, just about into a tree. Too focused on talking. Pay attention a little more. So what was supposed to be an epic adventure with the boys, with uh, Luke and Jasper, ended up just being a wild day out in this brand new place that I have never ridden at before and it is extremely crazy. Holy shit, I can't see a damn thing. All right, now that we are back to where we last left off, where we broke down with Luke, let's get into the very first trail. Let's see what this place is all about. All right, here we go. All right, she's dark and twisty in here. Sure, kind of reminds me of um, of uh, Tansky. That was. 
was cool. Little double pump jump. Yeah, we definitely need to buy like a, I'd like to get a gripper seat. There we go. I'd call this section of the trail kind of like the intro to it. If you don't like this, if you're not having fun going along this one, you're definitely not gonna like what's coming up down the line. Wow. This place is like super cool. It's always exciting when you find something brand new you've never been to before. I like this stuff. Oh, thank God for Barkbuster. Okay, I'm sucking. Stop sucking. This here is just a little tiny taste of what's to come. It's gonna get way more difficult and way more sketchy than this stuff. Oh, I am absolutely sucking. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, my hands are just completely cramped. What the hell? So in that little pit stop there, we made a couple suspension changes and the handlebar rotations and changing around the mounts of the clutch and brake lever. And immediately, you can notice we tell there's a difference. Doesn't mean I'm oh. gonna not suck anymore, but it made a noticeable difference. Wow, the bar bike feels so different. Wow, it feels so different. This is a neat trail. These are like the types of trails where you really notice the like playfulness difference from like the four stroke going over to the two stroke stuff. The two stroke you just, it loves to be thrown around. No idea where we're going. You're about to go over to the actual real trail. You're done the warm up now. What a cool view right there. All right, now we're in the slash pile stuff. Just made a couple side track adjustments on the handlebars and the compression. Stiffened up rear compression. Oh, 
dude. These are some gnarly step ups. These are the small ones. Yeah, a couple changes made the bike feel completely different. into the steep forest. Yeah, this is a, uh, this is fun. It's always interesting when you have no idea what's coming. Cool. There's some sick fucking like ledges there. It's just the start, dude. That's sweet, dude. It's all like more of this and then it gets better. Awesome. That's fun. Here we go. This is crazy. I have yet to ride this bike on anything like this. This is Nartown, town, absolute Nartown. town. Oh boy.
That's gnarly, dude. camera it never ever 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 does it justice but let me tell you what boys these th I, I was i was a little shaken in my boots i'm not gonna lie like it may not look like big rock ledges and walls but this stuff to me absolutely nutty i've never done anything like this especially on the beta like this stuff was pretty freaking crazy and I, I know there's a lot more of this craziness around oh this one's this is a crazy trail bro That's, this whole trail feels good. My <sighs> Definitely gets the blood up there, blood flow going. <laughs> Holy sh! Okay, down the fucking mountain we go. Okay, keep her controlled there, bud. Keep her under control. This is gonna be for one, this is gonna make one gnarly video, I can tell it right now. here not for much longer there buddy We wanted some challenge and I feel like we surely got it. Completely bottomed out there. jump over that tree. So 
sometimes the easier way is to just send it. <laughs> oh yeah. cleaner of a landing there. Had to dab on that one, was trying not to do that. Oh well. Can't win them all, that rock was vertical. These are some bloody cool trails though. There's some freaking wild trails. Absolutely wild, boys. These are what you'd call actual black diamond trails. But we don't rate trails here. We just have trails. And if you want to ride them, you got to be able to ride. Not to say that I can ride very good, but uh, I can ride them. <laughs> Holy smokes. Give her some gas. Holy smokes. Huh? Gnarly. Yeah. Oh, that's wild, bro. Oh, this is the little ledge thing. Fell off. Yeah, so just when you go through there, just go really slow. Just don't. You, you don't need to the, bomb through it. Keep the tires on the on the ground because it's really easy to tip over. It wants to throw you that way. Yeah, it wouldn't, and it, uh, you can't put a foot down or something. It's just a bit fucked. It's just awkward. Yeah. Yeah. So just be careful. Okay. <laughs> Oh, and he's down up there. Just like, think about it for a sec. Just like, look at this. I, I, I hope the GoPro shows how steep this is. Like, I'm looking up to the sky when I'm looking at him up on this freaking trail, man.
<laughs> oh man. Wow, things got totally bent out of shape halfway up. Emergency fucking turn right. Holy sh. Holy shit, eh? No, we're just. No. No, 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 no. Not feeling confident there. Yeah, these are some cool freaking trails, man. Yeah, we're not doing too bad for having street tires on the bike. Keep that in mind. There you got street. What the heck is this? Nice view of the ocean down beside us. I'd look and show you, but I'm focused over there. Oh. Yeah, this bike's really fun in here for this kinds of stuff. Sure is an adventure in here. minute freaking emergency exit stage right there. Hi! Well that was wicked. That was absolutely wicked boys. Oh this is dope. Yeah. Hell yeah dude. Whew. Damn. Oh it's good to be back on home home turf with the bedrock stuff. Sure do love it. But I just love this stuff when you have... Oh! No idea what's everywhere. Bit more thick stuff down in here. Oh, this is why I love exploring. This new stuff, you just... This is why it pays to get out and meet people and find their trails and... Holy crap, look at that view. Another banger view. Oh, this is pretty, man. I really like this. Super cool. Super cool. Nice little view spot there, too. Woo! That was a cool rock ledge. Oh, it's going to be dusty falling him down. That is some steep stuff. Holy sh**. Holy yeah. Nice!
Nice buddy. Okay, we got this one. That was much better. So Luke just got back to his place. Holy crap. He just got back to his place, took his bike, up, bike apart, and uh, he just blew up his bike. I'll uh, put some photos up on the screen here for you guys to see. He uh, just put it, this piston in. It's got one at less than an hour on the piston and it just grenaded. Super unfortunate. So yeah, as you guys can see, it's uh, he, he's, he's duffed. He's donezoed which really bites. And we tried for a good, like half an hour, 45 minutes trying to fix this stuff. And uh, well, we tried everything, but we sure ain't gonna be able to fix no piston out. Piston and sleeve out in the woods, no replacements, which is unfortunate. Drive all the way out here. And ride for a few minutes and you blow up your bike. That's never fun. sure about this being the way out. After trying to follow Jasper's lead this morning on uh, trying to lead us into the trail, I wasn't so sure if he was able to lead us out of the trail. Certainly some more gnarly trail. I'm not trying to race this, I am trying to survive this. Big difference. Yeah. Just stopped you. Oh. All right, well, it's been a long day and we're still trying to get out of this freaking woods, man. Jasper thinks he knows the way, but we've had 85 turnarounds, so let's hope he's right with this one. Might be doing a, uh, another night ride if we don't have the right one and it'll be a night ride with no gas. So it'll be a walking ride. I don't know if that can be called a ride then. It'd be just taking your bike for a walk in the dark, I guess. Let's not have that one happen. Done that before. If you haven't seen that video, check that out on the channel. Oh, wrong way. Oh! Got super squirrely there. The body is tired, for sure. Day two in a row of riding, it always does that.
trail there. Now we got Jasper on the Beta Cross Chandra. Just let him try it out and see what he thinks. It's very light looking and playful for sure. I notice how much more the brakes are better on this. I like the brakes on this way more. Leaves some room to be desired. Oh yeah, you can see that brake light. See how this feels. Oh wow. This feels very planted. Oh yeah, the suspension feels really good on this. I do like the Husky suspension. And it's braking. Feels super solid. Those bite brakes bite up real good. Well, yeah, it's way different. Uh, the front feels lighter. It doesn't feel as planted. Yeah, that's the same. That's what I was saying. This feels so planted. Yeah, that like, feels twitchy. It, yeah, like when you're going down hills and shit, it feels like it wants to like road. So that seems good. So I think we're gonna make it. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you go down below, click that like button, click subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Oh, this is cool.